why I come to you with this song. In 1810, con el grito de gallo, black and brown fighting together on a day I'll always remember. En el 5 de mayo, con el canto de gallo, se levantaron con razón, mi gente, con pasión. Black, white, and brown bleeding together on the day I'll always remember. Because really, it hasn't been that long. So, just in case Cat Williams has you guessing, let me kick y'all down with a little history lesson. Ha, 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 hey! In the 19th century, while the U.S. promoted degradation, annihilation with its military and U.S. Navy, Mexico was getting rid of the caste system, voting for its first indigenous presidents, and even getting rid of legalized slavery, y'all. The Underground Railroad also ran south, which led African slaves to freedom, with Mexico right there to receive them. In 1910, it was Mexican men, Pancho Villa and Zapata, fighting for tierra, libertad y techo, with Adelitas right on the front line with bullets across their bedroom. Ha, 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 ha. In 1946, it was the Mendez family that fought against segregation in schools, because before that, they treated us like fools, pushing us out into games, wars, and drugs, and then get pissed off at us when we become crips and bloods, thugs, traviesos, pachucos, susurus, bomberas, populistas, bomberas, talking about what's really going on in the street. In the 60s, Black Panthers in the streets of California organized for answers. The young lords in New York were fighting against wars. The Stonewall Rebellion remained true for the rights of the LGBTQ. Hey, with no shame in their game, down with native rights. We're learning how to fight, trying to do what's right. In the campos of California, it was Filipino farm workers that first laid down the boycott, screaming in solidarity, Isan, Baksak, one rise, one fall. You come for one, you come for all. You come for one, you come for all. like it's made out of clay. Today, I stand with Emmett, Trayvon, Sean, and Bill with my homeboy, Mumia Abu Jamal, up in the cell. Tell you, I'd rather be blind. I would rather be blind than to stay quiet on a day when my people are hugged down like prey. You see, because my ability to breathe is directly connected to my ability to see. It's not about me. Never was, never will be. It's about we. It's time to move, y'all. It's moving time.